What up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video to help you successfully pass the CompTIA A plus 221002 examination. So let's get into it. In this video, you're going to learn about the basics of change management and some best practices that are associated with change management. So let's talk about change management. So change management is an IT service management discipline. The objective of change management in this context is to ensure that standardized methods and procedures are used for efficient and prompt handling of all changes to control IT infrastructures in order to minimize the number and impact of any related incidents upon service. Change management can ensure standardized methods, processes, and procedures, which are used for all changes, facilitate efficient and prompt handling of all changes, and maintain the proper balance between the need for change and the potential detrimental impact of changes talk about documented business processes and practices. So creating a record of who uses the network, what part of the network and how others use the network is the first thing to consider before going about implementing change management. Due to the nature of IT infrastructures, which create a lot of overlap in network usage, it cannot be assumed that everyone can do without service to the network in the event that the network has to be shut down for whatever reason. Knowing how a company performs its many tasks can help to create a map for how change should be implemented. The purpose of change. So it is important to identify the purpose of any change to the network. This will limit the scope of change and prevent it from unnecessarily getting larger than it should. Also, it is important to allow users of the network to be a part of the process of identifying issues with the network so that they can help identify potential problems to make sure that any changes are successful. Scope of change. So the scope of change, this refers to the overall extent of a change. The scope must be defined so that users of the network are not suddenly unable to access the network once the change has been implemented. Part of scoping a change means creating an itemized list of things that will stay the same, such as core functions or things that will go away, such as old equipment, or have a mixed outcome after a change has been implemented. Next, we have a risk analysis. So a risk analysis, this is a technique used to identify and access factors that may jeopardize the success of a project or achieving a goal. Some risks that IT managers are faced with include delays, poor network quality, and the usage of more resources. IT managers are expected to neutralize these risks once they have been identified by grouping them into high, medium, or low risk categories according to their potential impact on an organization. Plan for change. So it is important that all users of a network be aware of changes that will come and understand based on detailed analysis how those changes will impact their functions. Even small changes to a network need to have a well-planned implementation. End user acceptance. So end users of a network will be the ones to ultimately dictate the success or failure of a change migration. Therefore, it is important to ensure that end users are informed and involved in the planning and implementation of the change process. One way to get end users involved would be to conduct some type of training for how to use new software or equipment. We have a change board. So a change advisory board, they deliver support to change management teams by advising on requested changes and assisting in the assessment and prioritization of changes. This body is generally made up of IT and business representatives that include a change manager, user manager and groups, technical experts, and possible third party and customers if required. The task of the change board is to analyze requests for change and study the benefits and risks of implementing those changes. Let's talk about a backout plan. So a backout plan is an IT governance integration approach that specifies the processes required to restore a system to its original or earlier state in the event of a failed or aborted implementation. A backout plan adheres to an action list created prior to software or system integration. This list includes detailed steps and techniques for uninstalling or disintegrating a new system as well as reversing process changes in order to get things back to normal. And then let's talk about document changes. So documenting changes is paramount in any type of change management process so that a record of what has changed and how it was accomplished can be readily available for anyone who wants to make further changes to the network. 
All right, so this was a quick video talking about the change management process and some of its best practices. Now, if you felt like you've gotten something valuable out of this information, go ahead and hit the like button, share button, drop a comment, but most importantly, subscribe to this channel. Also, go check out my website, Technology G, so that you can get read up on the latest and greatest to help you successfully pass the CompTIA A plus 221002 examination. And until next video, ladies and gentlemen, peace. Yeah. <laughs>